Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another vlog and we are into peak week again. We are officially seven days out from the PCA Ireland where I'm going to be coming for that W, best believe it. So I have some big updates for you this morning. Got on the scales this morning and I hit a new prep low of 87.65 kg. I think I have that right. Do I have that right? I think I have that right which is 1.3 kg down from yesterday, which is absolutely fucking nuts. So I took my pictures this morning and sent them to Cuba. And like, even all day yesterday, Chloe looked at me in the morning and Chloe looked at me in the evening and she was like, I have never seen you this lean, like your glutes, your hamstrings, like the dryness in my quads. We took some pictures last night and they were pretty naughty looking. And I got up this morning, waited until it was like really bright and I took my pictures for Cuba. And I was like, fuck, I'm really sharp. I'm really dry and like, all in all, I know I said I kind of like felt it yesterday, but now we know why, guys. Now we know why I was kind of struggling a little bit yesterday because I've seen a big fucking drop, but I've seen a huge shift forward in condition. So I woke up this morning and I'm actually feeling pretty fucking good. So we'd originally tended to rest today, train legs tomorrow, um, and then push Monday, and then start our peak on Tuesday. Complete change of plans, right? I told Kuba, look, I'd rather train legs today. I wanna train legs today. Give my legs that extra day's rest before the show. And then, you know, rest tomorrow on Monday when it's like my busy work day. And he said, yeah, that's gonna be much better. And we're gonna start the peak from tomorrow. So peak is starting tomorrow on Monday, which is like six days out. So obviously we'll have like six days of loading into the show in comparison to the seven days that we would have had before. So yeah, guys, um, pretty fucking exciting stuff. And I'm absolutely buzzing this morning. Not that the peak is starting tomorrow, but more so with like how I actually look. And I think this time, yes, I flattened off a little bit now this morning as we've reached that new level of condition, but I'm still not like as flat as I was when I got sucked the whole way down before the last show. So I'm super fucking excited to like start the peak, just continue to like chill out, stay off my feet. I'm way more relaxed. I'm way more confident this time around. And I think this look is just going to blow my last two looks out of the water. So stay tuned guys. We are going to run you through the whole peak week this week. Get that vlog up before the PCA Ireland vlog. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So follow along this week. We'll keep you posted with the updates, uh, show you what we're eating, of course, and how it's gonna vary from the last time. I'm not sure if he's gonna load me a little bit heavier. I'm not sure if he's gonna start off with the same peak plan he started off with the last time, but I imagine it's gonna be a lot of chicken, banana, and almond butter again, which I am so fucking excited for. So let's go. All right, guys, so welcome back. And we have the baseline peak plan provisional in from Cuba, and I'm telling you, it is a lot more food than last time, like substantially more. So I've just inputted it into my tracker here so I could work out what the macros were, protein, carbs, and fats, and it's, it's pretty fucking good. But you're gonna have to stay tuned until tomorrow for a full day of eating. So we're gonna run you through it meal by meal, guys. Go through the totals for each meal and then go through the totals for the end of the day. And this is literally gonna be just the first day of six days of loading before the show. Now. He did say to me, this is provisional, and I have my first meal ready to go, which I'll have like straight after I send my check-in shots to Cuba, but he actually said to me, we may need more if your body weight continues to drop tomorrow. Now, pff, more than this is gonna be a lot of fucking carbohydrates, and, and you're gonna see that tomorrow. So once I do send my picks over to him tomorrow and I get the updates back, I'll let you know whether we're running with this original plan or whether he has updated it again and added even more food. But either way, guys, you're gonna see the full day of eating, so stay tuned for the next clip. All right, guys, good morning. So we have checked in and sent pictures across to Cuba just awaiting his response now. But we have meal number one here, which is going to be 150 grams of cream of rice. We have got 20 grams of whey, which is fuck all, but anyway, 100 grams of banana and 20 grams of almond butter. And of course, some sweet cinnamon in there as well. So calories and macros are going to be up on the screen along with the meal there. I'm looking forward to eating this meal, guys. I've been a little bit stressed out this morning because it's getting bright progressively later and later and later. And I did not have the best sleep last night whatsoever. I've been up since quarter past one in the morning. 
initially woke at like half 10, got back to sleep for a while, woke up at half 12, came out to sleep on the couch because it was a little bit cooler out here and I uh, wanted to leave Chloe sleep in for a little bit as I'm getting her up very early in the morning. It, it's, it's not been a good one, I got like five hours, hours of sleep last night. So waiting until it's fucking bright for like six hours until I can take my checking pictures uh, and send them to Gooba and obviously only drinking like a liter and a half of water in that time frame is that uh, it's just not the one. Anyway guys, um, we're gonna enjoy this meal and then once Kuba gets back to me with the plan of action for the day, I will run you through that. Okay guys, so updates, we're back from Kuba and there's been no adjustments to the initial kind of baseline peak plan that we had. We're just gonna run over what he sent me last night. So all meals for today to remain unchanged, which is fine by me as it's still a massive increase in the carbs I have anyway. So we've got meal number two here, which is 125 grams of chicken, 150 grams of jasmine rice, 75 banana, and some ground sweet cinnamon mixed in with the rice in there. And standard procedure for this meal, just in between check-ins is we always just sit back, relax, and watch a little bit of a podcast. So today I've gone for the Italy Pro Show predictions for the Pure Bullshit Radio from HD Muscle. This has uh, very quickly become my new favorite podcast and uh, I think uh, everyone from Bro Chat is slowly seeping over into it as well. So I think Bro Chat is a little bit dead and I think Fuad is a little bit fucked, but yeah, it is what it is. All right guys, so we're back and we're feeling a little bit better now. So we have got meal number three here, which is my favorite meal of the day by far. 125 grams of chicken, 150 grams of jasmine rice, 150 grams of banana, and 20 grams of almond butter. So as you can see here, there is not that much almond butter there at all. And what I always try and do with this meal is, I'll have like one bite of like the chicken, banana, and almond butter at the start, and then I'll strategically try and like eat around it until the very end, and then save the almondy butter bits to the very end because the almond butter just, oh, just hits different with this. It just hits different. And it's been hard to go from like the 40 grams of almond butter I was having during peak week, or not peak week, during show day for my last two shows, back down to the 20 grams of almond butter because I absolutely love my almond butter. But if you haven't watched that video guys, go and check it out because there is quite a lot of almond butter there amongst other things. But anyway, I am gonna sit down and enjoy this meal right now. I'll probably actually bring it into the room and uh, continue to watch a little bit of YouTube. And then we'll catch up with you guys for the next meal. All right guys, so just woke up from a 30 to 45 minute nap. So if I look like a little bit of a hound, I do apologize. But we're gonna have my fourth meal in about 20 or 25 minutes. So just before I actually prepare that, I'm going to have this, which is two thirds of a scoop of Digestimax, okay? So this supplement is an absolute game changer if you've never taken it, right? So this does contain um, inulin, which is you know helpful to make you go to the toilet, uh, psyllium husk as well, some bromelain, which is a digestive enzyme, other digestive enzymes, and a mixture of probiotics for your gut, right? So. This is something that I take around half a scoop of every single morning. Now, when my fiber intake is quite high and I don't need it, I won't take it. But if I'm ever finding that I'm struggling to go to the toilet and I know a lot of my clients get like, you know, bloated or they get kind of like constipated and this is something I always recommend to them. So my last show day, obviously when we were doing like the, the peaking process, we pulled out all the fiber from vegetables, right? And that's also kind of what we've done here. Um, in terms of peak week. Now, this is something that I do to kind of replace the fiber that I'm taking away from those vegetables. Now, I do eat a lot of fruit still, and obviously there is fiber contained within that, but as a rule of thumb, you wanna be having around 10 grams of fiber per 100 grams of carbs. And obviously today, as you'll see, I'm having quite a lot of carbs, so I do need quite a lot of fiber. So. I have this fiber supplement in there and it's not just fiber, you know, there's digestive enzymes in there and other stuff like that. I also will have with this some betaine HCL, which is very useful for digestion. That's like the main ingredient in JP's Digest Pharma Pro, but I just get it, you know, cheaper in bulk off Amazon. So I'll have a cap of that and I'll have my Digestimax about, you know, half an hour before I have this next meal because we've pulled out that veg. This was something that last peak week, Kuba actually told me just to sack off and just not have it all. And then I kind of found as it was going along, I was struggling to go to the toilet. And then it's something I kind of put back in and I found it did kind of help quite a lot, right? So when fiber intake is a little bit lower because you're not eating your vegetables because 
obviously you're eating quite a lot of rice and banana and carbs to carb up digest max is is going to be your best friend in my opinion so top tip so guys meal number four here we have got 150 grams of lean beef mince 150 grams of jasmine rice and we've also got 100 grams of pineapple so pineapple also contains bromelain which is a digestive enzyme i was on about in the digest max so this is why pineapple is a great addition to any meal as it just aids in that digestive process sometimes i, I kind of eat this first just to kind of get it in and, and get the enzymes going sometimes i'll just kind of pick it as i'm going along through the meal also i have the goat combo with this meal french's american mustard and no added sugar ketchup i actually prefer the no added sugar ketchup to like the reduced sugar or the normal ketchup because it's like more acidic it's like more vinegary and i just like that taste but anyway so what you'll notice across all these meals guys is that my protein has been pulled down this again is just to aid in digestion carbs are obviously protein sparing and as we get closer and closer to the show you know the protein will be reduced down even further and then it will be kind of pulled out completely so standard kind of portion for me is like 175 grams of chicken or 175 grams of mince we're doing we did 125 chicken with the two earlier meals we're doing 150 50 mince here and then we'll do 150 chicken with the next meal and obviously the whey was like way down lol excuse the pun the whey was 20 grams in the morning meal when normally it's like 45 or 50 and it's 30 in the evening meal when normally it's like 45 or 50 as well so protein pulled right down to aid in that that digestive process so i'm going to mix this up now make sure there's a nice even distribution of ketchup and mustard in with this neck this into us probably go for like a quick kind of five minute walk after this just to kind of let this sit a little bit um as i did have that kind of nap after my last meal and i feel a little bit like you know like things need to kind of get moving there so that is what we'll do and i will catch up with you for the next meal guys all right guys so we have got meal number five here which is 100 grams of cream of rice 30 grams of whey 75 grams of blueberries 50 banana and 20 grams of almond butter so absolutely lovely meal love the combo of the blueberries and the banana so maple syrup cream of rice and cinnamon danish jp whey which is an excellent combo use code dmac10 on trainbyjpnutrition.com if you want to save some money off yours all right guys so meal number six here final meal of the day we've got 150 chicken 150 rice and 20 almond butter similar setup to the last time just gonna try and eat around it and save the almond butter until the end as you can probably tell by my demeanor uh, i'm pretty fucking trashed today so that weight drop is, is certainly catching up with me and uh having that shit sleep last night and being up so early in the morning so I actually pushed this last meal back a little bit it's now half five normally have my last meal at six so i'm just gonna get this meal into me now do like a quick couple steps like around the kitchen or up up and down the hallway like i normally do just to kind of aid in digestion and then i'm gonna try and get into bed and get like a really early night tonight i'm, I'm literally gonna try and be asleep for like half six because i feel like regardless of what time i fall asleep at and um, I, I just wake up early i just wake up at like 2 a.m um, or before it so i think if i can get to sleep early tonight i can get an extra hour or two of sleep i'll still be up early but i don't mind that as long as like the quality and duration of the sleep is a little bit better but hopefully these carbs stick a little bit so i'll throw the total macros for the screen and the calories <laughs> total macros for the screen oh fuck me so i'll throw the total calories and macros for the day up on the screen here guys so you can see what we're doing for this first day of loading this is the baseline peak food minus the intra as today is a rest day Men train push tomorrow so i'm hoping i get a good night's sleep and i wake up and i feel refreshed because honestly this is uh this is probably the toughest day um, of prep i've had so far i think mentally as well because obviously as we peaked for the first show the mk classic when i got to the end of that week i started to feel better the food had gone in the energy levels were coming up the mood was coming up i had that massive high of like you know show day weekend two shows back to back good results good placings and then i had you know the off plan meal with chloe everything else and motivation was high how i felt was like really good for like a couple of days and then obviously being back on baseline for a while ramping everything back up again and actually dropping like 3.8 kilos in a week and getting to like a completely new level of condition 
it, it's really caught up in me and I think it's been quite a challenge mentally going from like, you know, you feel shit, you feel shit, you feel shit. And then it's like, you feel amazing because the food goes up when you have those first two shows. And then it's like, you're riding off the high of that show. And then it's like, you start to feel, really feel like you're on prep again. But this time it's like twice as harsh as the, as the last time. But look, it's a good thing that the shows were like two weeks apart because Obviously, you know, I'm starting the, the peaking process now. Um, we have a shorter window this time. It's only six days instead of seven days. And last time I started to feel good after around five days. We're traveling on Friday, so Friday morning. So I only have like four more sleeps. So three full days after this to hopefully come back around, feel a little bit fresher. And I hope that does happen as when I travel, uh, I get pretty I get pretty stressed and uh, it's not the best. So hopefully energy levels and, you know, stress is, is low as that's what we need to prioritize heading into this next show is, you know, that's what I got wrong the last time. I need to chill out, need to relax, need to be zen. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So wrap up this full day of eating here. I don't know if I will continue this vlog afterwards or not, um, but I will catch up with you for an update then because my brain is not functioning at the moment guys. All right guys, welcome back. So it is Wednesday, the 13th of September, and we are four days out. Brain function is back in a little bit of a better spot than it was in the last video, now that we are feeling a little bit fresher than we uh, were two days ago. So I may have jumped the gun a little bit on this uh, full day of eating, as yesterday we actually ran a massive high day. So I'm gonna put the calories and macros for that up on the screen here now. As you can see, it's a lot of food. We ran an additional 152 grams of carbohydrates from the day before. So I'm gonna run you through now what we actually added to what meals, just so you know. And I'm gonna just pop that up on the screen there as well as it's just easier so I don't have to be like looking back through my notes and like reading exactly what it is. I'm much happier with the look after that mega high day yesterday. So I'm gonna pop a video of this morning's check-in up on the screen here now and just gonna run you through um, the updates for this week, right? So after the first high day that we ran, which is this full day of eating, we jumped 0.6 kg on the scales up to 88.3 kilos. Checked in was still super flat. So Kuba was like, right, we really need to eat up today. So then this morning I woke up and I was 89.3 kilos. So a full kg up and as you can see here, much, much fuller, uh, but still kind of nice and tight, which is good. Now also, and I forgot to mention in this video so far, we have made a few small tweaks to stack design this week, okay? So we have pulled testosterone out completely. Now, why are we doing this? Because testosterone and ante, it's gonna stay in your system for like five or six weeks, right? So it's just slowly gonna kind of come down in your system relative to how much you actually have and it does kind of tend to hold a little bit of water. So this is something we've been kind of tapering down as prep has moved along, just to try and tighten up um, and dry out as much as we possibly can. We obviously didn't pull it for the first show because we had this second two shows that we had to do. Also, we have increased the Winstrol. So I'm gonna actually pop up on the screen now as well what the current like cycle actually is. We just upped the Winstrol 250 mig. So current cycle is a gram of Primo, a gram of Mass, 100 mega Trend, 50 Anivar, 50 Winstrol, 20 Halo, and then we have pulled back down the Lipolytics. So Clen is at 40 micrograms. We pulled out the L-carnitine, injectable L-carnitine again. T3 has been pulled down to 25 micrograms, and T4 is still at 150 micrograms. So they are the stack adjustments for this week. Again, the reason behind that is just pulling down the Lipolytics so that we can kind of load up. And then obviously as well, pulling down the test and adding the Winstrol to dry out just that little bit, little bit more. So um, today, when I checked in with Kuba this morning, he was you know, pretty happy with the position that I was in and obviously with that video that you'll have just seen. So we've actually decided to pull back today um, and actually pull back below what the baseline peak week calories were for this full day of eating. So I'm uh, not sure how I feel about that, but look, it is what it is, especially because I got up this morning, was waiting ages to take my check-in photos, had my first meal, which was 150 grams of cream rice, and he actually took 50 grams away from that. So I'm gonna have to have a poverty bowl of 50 grams of cream rice later on. But look, it is what it is, you know, still have plenty of food in today. So it's not gonna be an issue, especially at like four days out. Sleep has been much better the last two nights. Thank God I've gotten seven and a half hours. Still up mega fucking early in the morning, but like not one o'clock early, which, which is good. So I'm managing to get to sleep somewhere between like 
half six and like seven o'clock and even though i'm still getting up quite early like half two three o'clock ish at least like the quality of my sleep and the duration of my sleep has improved so i feel like that's definitely had a big impact on the look now my energy levels and my fatigue are, are, are still kind of present i think today i'm probably like up two points on a scale of 10 from how i feel in comparison to two days ago two days ago was probably like a three yesterday was probably like a four today's maybe like a like a six so i'm hoping after just a complete rest day keeping my steps minimal today you know still having a decent amount of carbs in um i'm going to put the macros for that up on the screen now like the baseline macros for today up on the screen uh i should be you know much fresher tomorrow and i'm hoping i am because tomorrow is last day left in manchester last long fucking draggy ass morning before we get our fly home to Derry on friday so that is the update guys i have to send check and picks to cuba in 45 minutes so we'll see does he make any changes to the plan uh pull my food down even further uh, or maybe give me some more he definitely won't give me some more but anyway we'll take those pictures send them across to him if there is updates i will run through them with you um and if there's not i'll just check back in with you again tomorrow evening uh before we travel back to ireland and we begin the pca ireland vlog so yeah we'll catch up with you in the next clip guys well guys okay so i spoke too soon kuba seen my pictures and we've got an extra 25 grams of rice in with meals four and five or yeah meals four and six and we've got an extra 25 grams of cream rice in with that meal that i was going to have to take away from so that's good that's going to be 75 grams so it's not going to be too bad so food has actually increased he thinks we can push things along a little bit further so that's fucking great i'll show you quickly how we're looking here midday after three huge meals there we go legs certainly looking a lot fuller and a lot drier upper body check that tricep and that glue so guys signing off here and we will catch you tomorrow evening we're rolling all right guys welcome back so hectic fucking day today trying to get everything sorted for uh the flight tomorrow so it's currently half three we've all our meals prepped our bag is like 90 percent packed so i'll just hit you with a couple quick updates obviously the macros you would have seen for yesterday were wrong because the kuba ended up adding additional food woke up this morning we were like 0.2 up on the scales so not much of an increase at all and he's actually pulled food back again today so i'm going to pop the actual macros for the week up on the screen here now um so as you can see not that much of a pullback at all um but still enough just to kind of hold me where i am because i did a pull session today in the uh apartment i was gonna say hotel in the apartment gym downstairs really really good um pull session just got a little bit of a pump used a couple of different machines just lightly repped it out um and it was looking pretty good afterwards at one o'clock so he's like you look bang on we just need to hold this definitely stick with your provisional plan for tomorrow which is pulled down even more again so i've just done my meal prep for tomorrow guys and as we are traveling obviously we need to pack a little bit light so what i've done here is i've just put everything into bags so we've got meal three here and then meal four meal five meal six i have two meals of minced rice and pineapple and i have two meals of chicken rice banana and almond butter i'm hoping i don't lose all the almond butter to like the ziploc bags i tried to like put it in and then mush all the rice around it so i'll have a big lump there um, and then first field meal for tomorrow we have cream rice and then we've got like chicken rice banana almond butter so i have those meals prepped and ready to go i'm just going to put the banana and the almond butter and the berries and shit in fresh tomorrow morning and we will have those one in the airport and one when we land in Derry. Um, have all my meals prepped for the rest of the evening as well. And uh, yeah, guys, excitement is really kicking in now. I need to just chill out now, relax. Obviously, I'm just quickly recording this so that I can get in, edit the video, get it up, scheduled, uploaded, thumbnail is done as well for Sunday morning and I don't have to worry about it. So I've everything done. All I need to do is eat two more meals, pack the rest of the bag, which is only a few more bits, relax and then when we wake up this mor tomorrow morning it's go time usual morning routine we'll get up we'll have our hydromax we'll chill out we'll have our coffee shower straight to the airport and then it's game time but you'll see all that in the next video guys so make sure you stay tuned in oh yeah we forgot as well fresh fade friday oh wait it's not it's actually fresh fade thursday this week fuck but anyway 
looking fresh still need to shave still need to apply the tan but all that will be coming soon so guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't already drop the video a like likes have been a little bit better recently but let's get them up even further comment on the video as well comments have been good but i just get random ones off random people and uh we will catch you for the pc ireland show day vlog wrap it up the season on a high guys let's go